Hello YouTube. I'm Gabriel. And people call me crazy. You will have to bear with me for two reasons now. First one, this is the first video I'm creating, right? Second one, you have to bear with my English, which sometimes can give me hard times. I hope you'll manage to stick to the end, enjoy it, and maybe get something good out of it. Today I feel like like sharing an idea. Just like maybe half an hour ago, um, I had this sharp pain through my lower back. Well, it's nothing serious, but it keeps going for about a month now, and it's uh, blocking me from doing stuff that I want to do, or actually not really blocking me. This is the point where I want to go. Uh, today would be day number 108 since this whole coronavirus pandemic started. And uh, it's when I moved back to my, to my father's home. And uh, since I really, really, really missed my dogs, I decided to take them out every evening at the beginning and uh, this is how like seven days later later I was I just realized hey this is a whole week of consecutive days walking my dogs in the forest what if I can reach a month this was the the new goal and uh, then when the the month was nearly done I said to myself, like, whoa, what, what if we switch digits? What if we go um, to 100, right? And uh, what followed were like roughly 70 days of uh, really testing my will. This is how I can put it. And this is the point I want to reach. Uh, challenging yourself like this it's really tough well not necessarily tough like it's not tough for me to walk a hundred days in the forest this is not difficult it's difficult that uh, there are points where you feel like you shouldn't or that you don't want to anymore or that you cannot anymore and this is how it's related to my lower back now um, I also, I think the, the most difficult day of these 100, because I did complete my goal, this is the 108th day, I didn't stop at 100. The most difficult part was um, the week after I sprained my ankle. And that was, that was really tough. Uh, I was walking in crutches, and um, it was... Uh, a period of time like for several days it kept raining like like pouring rain and I know the first day the first day after I sprained the ankle I was like all right what am I doing now I should stop I should not go um, it's not like I'm walking like five minutes and then going back I have to go a bit further into the woods to count the day in my goal right so it's been really tough the back is going on for a month now uh, well usually when I when I stretch my back and my legs the pain kind of go, goes away right but then I stop for I stop for a couple of days because I just forget stretching and the pain comes back it's like either a sharp pain or I'm just getting like stuck. 
Well, it's fucked up, but... And here's my point. So... So the point that I'm trying to make is that those are exactly the moments that define who you are. Those exact moments when you say that you cannot, that you shouldn't, or stuff like this. That's when you see what you're made of, right? That's when your will is tested. That's that's when you find out if you have uh, enough strength, enough patience, if you can really push the limits to discover what you're really capable of, right? And I'm just talking simple forest walks, right? There's, there's not more than this. It's not, I'm not talking like doing epic stuff or something. That might be easier, actually. But setting a, a goal like this, maybe let's say a long-term goal, right? And sticking with it through the difficult times. That, that's the, that's the part that defines you, right? And people people keep asking me like hey why do you keep doing it why do you push yourself why why do you challenge yourself every single time right? most of them just don't get it and really it's not about what i'm doing it's not about the challenge itself it's about the results so what result am I talking about, right? Well, the result is, simply put, that you prove yourself that you're capable of pushing the boundaries. And this is really important. Because you'll come across times in your life, most likely, I hope not, but most likely you will come across points in your life when being strong is really the only way of coping with, with things, right? And what's the best exercise of staying strong if not challenging yourself in good times, right? This is why I'm doing it all the time. I have to prove to myself that I'm capable, that I can go through a sprained ankle, that I can go through sharp pain in my back and still manage to do the things that I set out to do, right? So you could be listening now and say, what a crazy guy. And maybe you're right on the one hand, but on the other hand, I think you, you'd be really surprised by the benefits of doing what I do. The, the ease with which you will overcome difficult times afterwards and it's like you're building up strength you're building up willpower right it's building up with each challenge that you complete it's building up building up building up and you get to a point where usual things that uh, used to bother you in the past or stuff that you just couldn't find the motivation to do or you were not disciplined enough to do. You'll see how easy you they will they will feel like, right? And that's really important, at least to me. So. 
so people ask me again I'm saying it people ask me why do I do it why do I keep keep bringing up challenge after challenge after challenge why don't I stop when it seems impossible to to complete it well this is my way of staying staying healthy and I'm really talking about the brain now right this is what matters at the end of the day I know sprained ankle is bad you should rest you should I know all these all these details that people keep telling me but for me it's more important to to feel happy with what I do to end the day each day being happy with who I am if I if I am to draw the line now I think this is what it gets down to being happy with who you are and with what you're doing right and if you manage somehow to get there and to be happy with who you are and your decisions every single day if you know how do it for me this is the way you could give it a try so a hundred days of walking in the forest a hundred consecutive days done checked it's been it's been a challenge I have to admit that as much as I like to walk in the forest this was a challenge sometimes you just don't have the time for it I had to leave I had to leave the, the city for like two days well not entirely two days but waking up at 5 30 in the morning to take my forest walk catching a train at 6 6 30 coming back the next day in the evening and barely barely catching the daylight to take my next forest walk or think about just exposing myself all these days because these forests are home to plenty bears and not only bears also wild boars Well, I'm just bringing out like the dangerous species, but I did enjoy seeing all other animals instead. Deers, bucks, foxes, squirrels, so many. It's been a pleasure. It's been, it's been a hell of a challenge, as I said. But it's done. And the benefits behind it, you, you can only imagine the satisfaction I get from being able to complete something like this. Because it's nearly a third of a year. It, it's something. Try doing something every day for this long. And it's not like you wake up, you do 10 push-ups and you're done. It takes some time. It takes hours and hours and hours and hours. I think I had an average of 3 hours per day. This is the average. I had times, I had days 
with maybe only 25 minutes of walking in the forest. I've had days with nine hours. It's been a roller coaster. I'm ready for the next one. And this is why I'm here. This is why I'm talking now. This is why you're listening. Because my new challenge means creating content for YouTube. I feel like beginning this journey, let's say journey, because I'm pretty sure it will be a long one. I challenge myself to create at least a couple hundred videos of whatever, of sharing, of sharing what I do, what I think, what happens. Thought I'll give it a try. And I hope something good will come out. Not just for me. As I said, simply simply completing the challenge is good enough. It's good enough for not regretting the choice of doing it in the first place because it builds up there so this is the beginning of my new challenge and I'm taking you along and I hope something good can come out of it for me, for you we shall see. So, see you in the next one. I'm a... Let go of things that were really bugging you before. Come on, English. Reviens. Okay, mosquitoes. I'm a dog uh, bitten by mosquitoes. I'm a turn into a large mosquito. Uh. Whoa. Look what I found inside this mushroom. Hey, your buddy. How are ya? Come on out. Mm. 
you will rest here now. So back to my point. Fuck! <sighs> back to the point. Once again. I make collecting mushrooms. Uh, my fucking bark is killing me. I was really angry with the lower back pain coming back. Perhaps it's quite visible at the beginning of the video, but... You know how they say that nature has a tendency of relaxing you. And getting rid of uh, anger and uh, upset. I am about to kill some mosquitoes. No, I'm not killing anyone. Ah! But, man, do I hate this fucking mosquitoes! Oh, it's killing me.